I love my iPhone 15 Pro, but I think I can make it better. And right now I'm gonna show you a few apps that's gonna make your iPhone much more useful. I think the best way to start is with some wallpapers. But regular wallpapers are boring, the coolest wallpapers are always paired. So the first app is called Pair Wallpapers. This app offers a ton of cool wallpaper pairs that you just download to your camera roll and set up as usual. No magic, just a huge selection of high quality wallpapers. I think I'm gonna go with this one, this wallpaper for the lock screen and this one for the home screen. See how one becomes another thanks to cool iOS animation? This app is free, but not all wallpapers are. Some will be paid, but I had no problem finding what I want without paying. Now let's add some widgets. iPhone 15 comes with iOS 17 and one of the main features of that are interactive widgets. So Wedgie is the second app of the day. It's also free and offers a huge variety of widgets to choose from. Really, this is one of the biggest widgets apps, weather widgets, calendars, clocks, phone status widgets. There is a lot of options. What's cool about Wedgie is that anyone can create their own widgets and you don't have to be a UI designer or programmer to do it. It's as simple as clicking create new, choosing the size and adding layers with different elements. I can add text, symbols, images, charts, calendars, tap actions and so on. But the easiest way is just choose a widget from the Explore page page. Very useful and cool widget app. If you thought that we are done with widgets, you're wrong. How about a calculator right on your home screen? Yep, fully fledged calculator with all the functions. To get that, we need to install the desktop calculator. This is more of a funny one, but I can imagine someone really using it. The app works just like you would imagine all the standard calculator buttons and an additional one to open the full size app. Also in the app settings, I can choose the style for the calculator so it better fits the aesthetics of the phone. And we are are still not done because there are far too many good widget apps. Take a look at this widget. Cool, right? Looks nice, informative, and fits the aesthetic pretty nicely. You can find this widget in iScreen. iScreen is super cool, especially if you are looking for really creative and cute widgets for your home screen or the lock screen. iScreen offers all the typical widgets like clocks and calendars, as well as unusual looking ones. Look at this widget. It's a clock, but with one tap becomes a quick access to settings or to the help. If home screen widgets aren't enough, there is a huge selection of lock screen widgets. Those ones can display information about your phone, the battery status, funny animations, or even pets. I know this all looks a bit silly to me, but I can already see all the girls going crazy about the lock screen cats. And if all that is not enough, there are also widgets for the dynamic island. Those ones can launch apps from the island or just encourage you with funny text. And of course, you can have your own pet in the island with the mini game in the ice cream app itself. So send this video to your sister, girlfriend, or wife. They're you're gonna love this app. Now, if you wanna take your customization even further, this product is for you, Vitcher Glasses. And they are kindly sponsoring this video. Vitcher One is the next gen XR glasses that not only look good, but also pack a huge punch in terms of features and capabilities. They look just like your regular sunglasses, but are a little bit heavier and thicker. The weight is 2.8 ounces. And when I wear them, I really don't feel much more strained than I do from my regular glasses. The material, and its texture are really pleasant and comfortable, so nothing rubs on my skin. As for the technical part, the glasses have a USB-C video output that can be used to connect the glasses to different devices. In my case, an iPhone 15 Pro. What impressed me from the start is how easy it was to set everything up. All I needed to do was choose the nose clip that fits best and use two dials to customize the built-in lenses. After that, it's just plug and play. Plug the cables into the iPhone, launch the app and enjoy the experience. The Spacewalker app is super nice and the HDMI adapter in the box allows to connect even older iPhones without Type-C. And the experience is probably the best part of it. The the image is very clear and even small text is readable. The colors and the clarity of the image are spot on and watching movies is a very pleasant experience. I don't know how to measure whether the glasses really output a 120 inch image, but it sure feels like it. And you know what the best part is? These glasses can be easily connected to a gaming console or to my Mac, so I can play games or work even while lying in bed. If you have Steam Deck or ROG Ally, connecting these glasses 
passes to those handhelds really changes the way I play. Or I can ignore PlayStation Portal and just connect my iPhone to my PS5 via remote play, connect uh, the gamepad and enjoy AAA games anywhere. Gosh, I can just play games from my iPhone 15 Pro like Resident Evil and I'll put the image to the glasses. So many options. Playing games has never been so comfy, that's for sure. What's interesting is that the glasses also have a built-in sound system designed in collaboration with Harman. And this sound system is actually quite impressive. It has very minimal audio leak and feels like good over-the-ear headphones. Another feature that I think is really useful is the lens dimming function. With a touch of one button, I can dim the lenses to almost complete darkness, making the built-in screen even brighter and more vibrant. Overall, I'd say these are probably the best XR glasses that I have tested. Also, I'd like to say special thanks for the unboxing experience because the way these glasses are packaged, it's really good. The box they come in opens in an unusual way. All manuals are neatly packed in places you never expect. I will leave a link that gives a 10% off to these glasses in the video description so you can check them out. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, now when I have enough widgets, there is still something missing from the home screen. Free space to properly use the phone with one hand. It would be nice to have all the icons on the right side of the home screen. And to do that, we'll need blank widget. This app does exactly that, adds blank widgets that don't have a name. For all this to work, you just go into editing the home screen mode and take the screenshot of the empty space. Then you load it into the app and you're basically done. Go to your home screen, find the empty widget, and place it on the home screen. To change the image of the widget, I just enter the home screen editing mode, tap on the necessary widget and choose its position. Boom, it's gone. What's also cool is that in this app, I can create stacked widgets. So when I need a widget, I swipe and reveal it. And when I don't, I swipe again and it becomes a blank empty space. Pretty cool. Now, how about making that dynamic island a bit more useful? Apple has surely done a lot to make it useful and app developers started implementing it more, but I still feel that it lacks creativity. So what I think we should do is make it display a custom message for us at all times. To do that, I just need the app called MyerList. Then in the app, I just click add reminder and enter the text. Once that's done, I just swipe the reminder to the left and boom, it's permanently stuck in the dynamic island. If it's a small text and you don't have anything else going on, the message will be displayed fully. But if there is something else using the island, then you'll have to long press on the island to see the message. I think it's a cool way to remind yourself of small things like uh, buying milk or liking this video. Reminding stuff is great, but there is one more area of life that many people can figure out. Meal planning and cooking. With Meal Lime, it becomes super easy to plan the diet, buy groceries and even cook. This app is truly fantastic come closer. So when I open the app, the first thing it asks are my allergies and food preferences. This will affect the suggested meals so that you always eat what you like and don't endanger yourself by occasional nuts in some recipes. After that, planning meals is as easy as just looking at different dishes, reading about them and adding to the plan. Once I finish adding my meals, the app summarizes everything and creates a comprehensive shopping list. This way I can just buy food once a week and not worry about missing ingredients. For each meal, the app gives a list of ingredients needed and even a list of kitchenware, which is a nice little touch. As for the cooking recipes themselves, I can either look at the entire recipe or turn on step-by-step -step mode. The app will show me each step one after one. And if at any point I would need to start a timer, there will be a convenient button in the app. Cooking with meal lime is super easy. And if my hands are dirty, I can just move the hand closer to the screen. This will dim the screen and go to the next step. Super fun and cool app you should definitely try if you're just as tired of meal planning as I am. And of course, how can we ignore the financial question? Because you've just spent a ton of money on the new iPhone, so saving every penny is the name of the game now, at least for me. And that's where Emerald comes into play. With Emerald, it's super easy to track money flows. In the app, there's a convenient calendar view where I can see past expenses and add new ones. For each income or expense, I can choose a category and type of expense 
intense, which is convenient. When I'm done adding everything, the app also gives a detailed visual report that shows how I spend my money. With Emerald, I can set spending limits, saving goals, and so on, super easy. And it even has great widgets that constantly remind me of keeping my budget in tip-top shape. And this app is free, which is another great thing about it. To top everything off, here are more widgets for you. Quick or Quike or Quick K, I don't know. Offers a big selection of pretty unusual widgets. I just click Add Widget and choose the widget style. Just look at the selection. The large widgets, for example, are the craziest ones. A circle with apps, a 2048 game, circle of icons. There are widgets with their behavior tied to the phone's accelerometer or the one in the shape of the heart. This app is totally unhinged with widgets and these widgets actually work and open apps. There are also widgets for the dynamic island. Pretty cool, right? Super cool app with a ton of widgets to choose from. So these apps are one of my favorites for now. So if you want to make your iPhone a bit more unique, try them out. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.